Good morning, dear students. I hope you all are doing good. I am Dimitri, a photographer from Russia. I was traveling in the sky and you don't believe what I saw. I saw baby Hitler and baby Stalin at an undisclosed location. I took a photo of them. You see how they look? Let us see what they are up to. Two students simultaneously start from the same place on a circular track and then run for two minutes. Bah, these two students are Stalin and Hitler. You see Hitler with a very small moustache and Stalin with an imposing moustache. I thought they were preparing for another war. But good, it is just a running race. I hope my voice is audible. Let us analyze this question from the book Pathfinder, chapter Kinematics. Two students simultaneously start from the same place on a circular track and run for two minutes. So let us say the student is H and the student is S. They go around this circular track. So let us have a look at it. In this time, one of them completes three and the other four revolutions. So we can say that H moves faster than S and H completes four revolutions whereas S completes three revolutions. Due to the thick vegetation in the circular area as shown, either of the boys can see only one third of the track at a time. So each of them can see only one third of the tra track at a time due to this thick vegetation. How long during their run do they remain visible to each other? So during this whole 120 seconds, how long do they remain visible to each other is the question. Let us have a look at the view from the top so that it is easy for us to visualize. When we look at it in the ground frame, it is difficult for us to analyze the question. So let us look at it in the frame of reference of one of the person. So let us look at this uh, question in the reference frame of S. Now we are looking at this problem from a rotating frame in which S is at rest. So you can see the ground moving backwards and uh, H moving in this direction. So we'll analyze the question from this frame. It will be much easier. Now in this visual, I have represented what H and S can see in the track. Now what this pink color here means is that this is H, right? So H can see only this part of the track, only one third part of the track. He cannot see the other two third part. Now let me play this. So S can see only this region. and. Uh, H here, this is person H, he can see only this region. Now, see, both can see each other right now. Okay, both can see each other right now. Let me just stop it here. Now, S can only view this area. Okay, and H is now going outside this area, right? So, he won't be visible. And let us talk about H. For H, only this area is visible. So now he also cannot see S. We are looking at this in the reference frame, moving with same angular velocity as S. So I'm just writing in frame of S. Omega relative is omega 2 minus omega 1. Or omega relative is 4 revolutions minus 3 revolutions for 2 minutes. So we can say that omega re relative is pi by 60 radians per second. One more important point is, in the frame of S, H undergoes only one revolution. So if this person is at rest, the H will undergo only one revolution. Now from these two images, what we can see is, when this pink triangle moves from original position till this position, both can see each other. Once this pink triangle crosses this position, they both won't be able to see each other. So from here, until the pink triangle has moved pi by 3, both can see each other. And again, while going one round and coming back, from here,
till the pink triangle again come back to this position both of them can see each other so the time for which both see each other is theta relative divided by omega relative theta relative is 2 pi by 3 and omega relative is pi by 60 so if you simplify this we get t equal to 40 seconds